that we got is a huge upgrade from this little old one that we have. I mean, look at this. Like, this is tiny. But I'm excited to use it. For this almond flour, be sure you do a fourth cup. Be sure to add one teaspoon to the mix of baking powder. So this recipe makes about two pancakes. I will measure out the size of them for you guys, but yeah. So, oh my gosh, they smell so good. You guys are gonna love these if you make them. I kid you not guys, these smell like s'mores right now. That is so good. Also, just wanted to let y'all know that these are also freezer friendly. So if you have extra, um, feel free to freeze it and then have it another day. Waffle is so good. Like, I'm not even joking. Especially with the blueberry in there. And I powdered mine with um powdered almond butter, but you could do powdered sugar or fancy yours up however you like. But yeah, that's what I did. So it's pretty good. See, took some bites out of there. Okay, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> This next recipe I'm about to be showing you is super easy and good to take on the go because it's overnight oats. For this overnight oats recipe, be sure you have a jar that you can put it in for your overnight oats in a jar. So first we're going to start off with half a cup of oats. <laughs> I personally love to do yogurt. 
footage look like. This is what it looks like. I know it looks kind of runny and you're probably skeptical, but trust me, the eggs will thicken up and in the morning it will be super good and it won't be runny either. So yeah. <laughs> This next recipe is a blueberry beet breakfast smoothie. Now that that is done, I'm going to eat this up and I will see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed this yogurt bowl because it's pretty bomb if you ask me. And let me know what you think.